Spotlight. My name is Terry, and with Danielle from the Pretty Heels. And today we are with, how can I say this right? You got to beat your face up, you know. We with some ladies, they like they like to make sure their face looking good, you know. I figure their heels are high when they walk, you know, high heels. We are with the three ladies of Face Beat Heel High Podcast. Yay! How Yay. are you ladies doing today? <laughs> we are good. Thank you for Hi, having us, guys. Thank you for coming on. The first question I all well, let me let everybody know. There's a game that's going to be intertwined with this. So this is different. So if you hear, give me an example so we can me, start yeah. Should I just explain the game? Because I know you guys are new to, to our game as don't, well. Don't even explain the game. Just, <laughs> just, 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 just hit the sound so they know what's going on. means we got a drink so <laughs> so we don't usually do this but <laughs> on their podcast you have to drink <laughs> so <laughs> i have a cup you y'all know me i don't drink that much but i'm gonna do it since they're here today how are you doing today ladies we are good good great. good thank you go ahead and thank you for participating go yes. ahead uh introduce yourself to the people oh, okay well i'm wild spice oh. of the face beat heels high podcast Okay. I am Christina the Baker Contreras. Oh, of the, okay. Well, face you. Face, what? Face, I can't <laughs> face beat heels high podcast. I promise I'm in it. Uh, and I am Princess Jellybean, otherwise known as PJ for short, or G, which is PJB or, or PB or whatever you want to do. <laughs> Mostly PJ though. Yeah. PJ, all right. Um, the first question I always ask everybody when we start this off is what started your love for wrestling or why do you love wrestling? Who would like to start? Go ahead, Wild Spice, yeah. All right, all right. Um, I started watching it. I have, I'm the oldest of three. I have two younger brothers. We're not that far away. We're like all like two years apart. Um, and they kind of just was on TV one day. We all shared a room and we were watching one of them raw smackdown something and um it just so happened that we were like okay this is cool and i was 1000 percent was a mark still am a mark i fall for everything and <laughs> i totally got caught up in the soap opera of it all and i was like this crazy i can't believe he got beat with a chair and, and then you know when i got older i realized but it's still it's still one <laughs> no, of the no no you're still like that <laughs> no i'm saying no i still i'm still like that I'm still, yeah, no, I'm still like that. But I'm saying like now I, well, no, yeah, you're right. Actually, I fell for the Pat McAfee shit. I sure did. I was like, that was real. He's such a douche. I hate him. And so, yeah, I went off about it. But yeah, no, that's just how it started. And I guess I took a little break as you do. You know, when you get older, I kind of like fell away from it. But then this quarantine pandemic is, um, I have nothing else to do but watch wrestling. So that's what, <laughs> that's what happened. That's my story. Hey, Wild Spice, before the other two go, let me just let you know, we will not do Pat McAfee slander here. Um, <laughs> he is my kicker for life. I am a full-time Colts fan, so I'm all for Pat. All right, um, I'll see myself out. So just we're, kidding. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you took a shot on The Undertaker. We're, we're even now. We're even. But I won't do it, I promise. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to The Undertaker later. Um, who who want to go next? <laughs> Becky. All right. Uh, well, I grew up in a very kind of like traditional Latin household, um, a big matriarchy of, you know, grandma, abuela, mom, myself, the three of us in the same house. And it was very old fashioned. So it was like, ay, la niña can't watch like violent stuff. But suddenly, every Sunday after we came back from church and after the like loteria, happened um reruns of glow would start showing so i was just like oh look at all these women oh look at them beating each other up oh and they have sketches i'm on this so it like that's how it started i was really into into glow so when the <clears throat> so when the netflix show came out i was totally out of it like i was just like it was my thing um just like with wild, wild spies you know, you grow up and you start kind of like, I personally started fading out of it a little bit, even though um, I'm like the only girl out of a bunch of male cousins and they would all watch WWF. And I really wanted to be a part of that, but my, my mom, my grandma would always like pull me away from it. And as I grew older, I married a man who was really into wrestling and that's how I got back into it. 
I have two beautiful dogs. Their names are Naya and Tamina. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a thing in the house now. <laughs> That's great. <DJ? laughs> so I actually was not a wrestling fan as a kid like these two growing up. I got the opportunity to watch, I think it was a SummerSlam and kind of was like, oh, I, I can get into it, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure about it. And then I got the opportunity to actually go to a live show. And I think that's when my love really kind of started and really bloomed was, it was like, it was like what I wish Broadway shows could be. It's like a sing along. The audience can affect the people who are quote unquote on stage. Like things can, like they can actually affect change. So it was just everything that I'm into. And we're also, the three of us are all a, in New York City, and B, trained and professional actors. So everything about storylines, everything about, um, uh, yeah, storytelling story <laughs> story is, is really what, what really gets us excited and something that I think we're all pretty good at also critiquing. So, mm-hmm. yeah, after I went to a, a live show, I was, I was hooked for sure. And there was no line at the bathroom for the girls, <laughs> which was awesome. I never, <laughs> that had never happened to me before when there's like <laughs> – Hello, men standing in line, but there was, I just walked right in. I was like, oh, I don't need a hop. Oh, hello. I love it. There's a the couch it. in there too. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what arena was there? <laughs> Medicine that Square was. Garden, wasn't it, PJ? I I, my first show was at MS, yeah, MSG, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At but since I've been to many. Yeah, yeah, was that the, in the bathroom? Oh, I no, don't know. I was about just joking. That was, I was oh, just joking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you should know about Wild Spice is she's the one that if if we're all going to a wrestling event, if we're me and Christina the Baker Contreras are like up in this in the way nosebleeds, Jerry is on the floor. Like Wild Spice is she's VIP tickets, backstage passes. There you so, are yeah. then. If there ever was a couch in a bathroom, yeah, I, I would know what that. I, I'd be in the VIP. Where <laughs> <laughs> are you listening? <laughs> Because what's going to happen while Spice is, more than likely, you probably were sitting next to Terry. (laughs) (laughs) I haven't been. I actually haven't been able to go. I've never seen a live wrestling event. I know. Same here, actually. But when I do, I'll be VIP. I'll be ringside. I'll be getting sweat on my face. Hell yeah. (laughs) See, on my end, I have actually been invited to several live shows. And I've every single time had to say no because I'm either at work or I'm just, I have something else going on. And I really want to go. But... I'm just unable to. Ah, oh, uh, he's got the chair. Ah, the chair. Oh, he's got the chair. He's got so the chair. I have like 20 chairs. Amazing. Um, hey, let's I, take the chairs. My, <laughs> doing, a, doing a shot for that. Yeah. Oh, take <laughs> oh, oh no. Hello. Ah, I'm to right. this particular episode. Ah. Good. Sometimes it just goes into our <laughs> into our ad for no reason. <laughs> PJ's Sorry. slowly trying to hijack the fucking. <laughs> Told you they trying to hijack the podcast. No, it is not. okay. It is okay. We gonna give them the recording. If you hear this on their show, it's all good that we did. This. Um, <laughs> it's a dual episode, matter of fact. So here we are. It's the Face yes. Beat Heels High Podcast Ooh, with it. the We Love Wrestling Spot. We out here. Yes. Now, I got to talk about this because who was it? Let's go to the baker. You said you, you your husband is yes. a wrestling fan and y'all married and y'all both love wrestling. How is That's that right. for you? <laughs> well, I was really shocked when he first told me I actually asked, I was like, so what are you, what are we doing tonight? Random day, you know, it was a date, like whatever. Like, um, I had plans with my boy to go to his place. And I'm like, what for? Um, (laughs) it's raw. And I'm like, the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) What is that? Like, um, we really like wrestling. And I'm like, oh, all right. Okay. So I was like, I mean, I guess that this is what we're doing. It's a new, you know, it's a new relationship. You want to go hang out with your best friend. I want to hang out with the people you hang out with. So I oh, guess man. that I have to, I have to, you know, sit pretty and just take it. And then that was the first time I saw A, Charlotte, uh, Charlotte Flair, and B, the queen. Naya Jax. I was like, who is her? Okay, so something you guys got to know about me is I am obsessed. The right word is obsessed 
with Samoan wrestlers? All of them. Even all Naomi, them. because she's Samoan adjacent. Correct. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> so, like, Samoans are my people. I have no Pacific Islander, like, Islander blood in me, but it's, it's what I go with. Roman Reigns was also in that Raw, so I was just losing my shit. That's we were the day. Real, we were really excited about, uh, about Samoa Joe this past week. Oh, 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 my God. This past week. I, I lost oh, it. I was oh, screaming. It, like, I lost it in the house. Thank goodness my neighbors moved because they would have, like, seen some stuff happening. Uh, <laughs> I was, I just, it just happened. He brought me into this world of wrestling that I had just been pulled out from when I was younger, and it turned out that I was really really into it so it wasn't so much a oh I started watching this because of my husband yes yes I did but it just it just stuck with me I oh my goodness I have to find that video this is a video of me crying my <laughs> eyes out when Bray I'm sorry when Braun Strowman bring this the up. shit oh. out of <laughs> every single time because Jesus. it's still in me it still bothers me <laughs> when uh, Braun Strowman beat the shit out of Roman Reigns and he shoved him into an ambulance and then flipped that ambulance over. I was just like, this can't be happening. This is just- She brings this up, TM, like every time we talk. We could be texting about something. We could be texting about wedding plans or something <laughs> crazy. And she'll be like, hey, remember that one time? <laughs> this is facts. <laughs> it still hurts. I can understand that. Uh, I'm, I'm, we'll come back to your Samoan talk. Um, let's go to Wow Spice. Why do they call you Wow Spice? What's up with that name? Oh, um, that's a quick, small story. Um, <laughs> I was, I, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia originally. So before I moved to New York, I, um, I came up here for the Spice Girls 2008 reunion concert. And um, <laughs> my friend wanted to go meet up with some dude that she was talking to. And I was obviously crazy I still I am the same like obsessed passionate person and he was like oh you're like the six spice girl they should call you wild spice because you wild and I was like I like that I'm stealing it forever and that's my name now fast forward like 10 years later <laughs> that's where I came from <laughs> let's go to PJP a uh, PJB uh that John Cena face is scaring me right now <laughs> would you rather be Randy Orton I can Randall. switch it out I, I, it, it, I mean, Randall? I just looked because I was about to ask you a question. I was like, oh, it's John Cena. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. I didn't see him at first, did you? I, did, <laughs> I still can't see him. <laughs> you still can't. I also have a luchador pug that I got. Very proud of this one. Oh. That's lovely. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice my, that. My good wall. Yeah. This is the good collection wall. I feel like I got to pull something out. Um, I see Charlotte uh -oh. back there. I see Charlotte oh. Stone right there. <laughs> Got Charlotte here. Nice. Hello. We stand. Um, hear about my Undertaker hate 2014 Undertaker signature. Why do you hate it? Why do you have it? Oh. I mean, I don't mean, really, shall we play the I don't really questions? hate him. I don't really hate him. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, DX. Do you hate him like I hate Seth Rollins? Mm -mm. No, you I'm purely, truly it. hate Seth Rollins. I won't speak on Seth, the Messiah, you know. I mean, I don't have no issue with him. I got to go. Um, I got to leave. <laughs> I don't, can't be here. This is not for me. I don't know. This is, this I don't is know. not for me. Just I don't know sipping if my I, drink here. I'm like, what? I don't know if I, I don't know. Seth Rollins hasn't done anything to move me in the last year, but I don't know. Yeah. He moves me in all the wrong ways. I don't That's have fine. no We don't have real, to talk about it. <laughs> I don't have no real feeling on him. So, so let's, let's keep going with this. Who are your favorite wrestlers? I mean, you stand Charlotte, people love Naya. I love Naya. Um, so who are you guys' favorite wrestlers? Are we talking uh, current roster or all time? Let's go two from the current roster and Ooh. one of all time. Okay. I got to marinate. So who, who I knows? feel like I also have to marinate. Okay. So for me, <laughs> <laughs> current roster – I'm going to have to go with Naomi because she is underappreciated, I believe, and she's a really wonderful wrestler. Um, as for the men? It can be any company also, unless you're right. totally like WWE eccentric. I appreciate WWE. Like, I am trying to dip my toes more. It, honestly, I really like, um, what's his face? 
orange Fucking from dinosaur. Okay. No, <laughs> Luchasaurus. Don't you mess with Luchasaurus. He's great. <laughs> You're feisty but, today. Right. I am. I'm sorry. I'm I'm really excited. Give her a gong for that. Give her yeah. a gong. She needs a drink. Yeah, drink. <laughs> Dinosaurs, all right. He said, "Don't mess with Lucius." <laughs> He's great. I follow him on Instagram. Me, you <laughs> talking about Orange Cassidy. Yes. yes. So I, I really like his style. I like how he. I like how he wrestles. Honestly, like just if if I were to just stick with WWE, like I said, Naomi and Grand Metalik, like he's really amazing. He's a truly amazing wrestler. I just love Lucha style. So he he's really doing it for me right now. Um, all time, China and The Rock. All time is so hard. All right, I'm going to attempt to go next. I'm biased. Unless, I'm unless biased. PJ's ready. I know you're going to steal my I, husband I, I, from me. I like you, the baker. I like you. Just know that. I like you. Okay. I like you too, Terry. PJ, PJ, you go first then. I don't want to steal oh, go you. ahead. No, I know you're going to steal it. Go ahead. I hate my Actually, husband. I you have your own. Get away from mine. Who are, who are we talking about? Okay, whatever. We're going to do it. Okay, so. Heel turn. <laughs> Heel turn. Current roster. Oh, no. Yeah. It's hard. I have several. Just need to. All right, Drew McIntyre. Is that the one that you thought I was going to steal? Because he's my husband, so we're going to fight. Um, Becky doesn't count as current, right? Because she's gone. So I won't say Becky. Yeah. We, we, she- won't, we won't talk Becky. Okay. Cool. So then that makes it easier for me. So I'll go Dexter Loomis, Drew McIntyre. That's my two favorites. Dexter. I fucking love Dexter Loomis. We all love Dexter Loomis very, very much. And we wish him nothing but the best. <laughs> always, always. We're doing a Q&A with him later on today. Oh, what? what? Can, can, we, can we be there? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually re- reporting live from outside his house. Right now. <laughs> we could talk about that later. Yeah, um, all time I'd go. All time I'd go. Uh, Stone Cold Undertaker. All right. Okay. PJ. Fine. I am going to go with current roster. Let's see. I hope that Morrison gets a push. I am really liking what he is doing, and then I will also go with Bray Wyatt. And all time, I don't know. I think I have to go with Ric Flair. He's just so Ooh. good. Whoa. Ooh. He's so good. Whoa. Yeah, well, it's more funny. Fun it's funny too because <laughs> I think like being wrestling fans and also us being like fairly new wrestling fans and not having watched it for a long time. I think like every time we do these interviews, we shift our opinions because we've watched more, we've learned more. So it's funny to like see where everyone's at at any given moment because we love our Drew McIntyre, we love our Dexter Loomis, we love our Bray Wyatt. We talk about mm-hmm. them all the time on the podcast, but there's no telling when, like, sometimes it's like, oh, I'm actually really liking so-and-so right now or mm-hmm. so-and-so, or I'm really not liking what Dana Brooke is ever doing. So, you know. Ever doing. <laughs> she hates her with a passion. Like, don't even go there. Right but I want her to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> what about Shayna Baszler? Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler makes that list, too. And Sunny Kiss. That's it. I'm done. I'm surprised you didn't say Rhea. And Rhea Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> they said two. <laughs> I'm kidding. You gave like seven. Yeah. That's, that's, kinda, that's really on brand for me. Yeah, I was just going to say, that's pretty really on brand. <laughs> What's on brand y'all's favorite wrestlers? Danielle and Terry. Well, for me, it's, it's a real big toss up. Um, I usually just do a Mount Rushmore. I mean, but more so, this is about you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, for the conversation's sake, right. uh, my Mount Rushmore is Jacqueline uh, from uh, mm-hmm. kind of pre and uh, I guess post attitude era. We know Maybe. Jacqueline. Come on now, keep going. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure. Um, Jacqueline, China, uh, she's in crackers. Charlotte's in there, I believe. And I had a fourth, I forgot it. I'll stick with that for now because I can't. Okay, that's fair. Harry? I don't even have favorites right now. Uh, if I pick, uh, I'm going to put Sasha on there. Um, oh, this is hard. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Hold on. Let me look at my Funko Pops right quick. <laughs> um, 
Copyright. We're going to go oh, with sorry. Sasha <laughs> and Naomi. And for the men, I'm really digging Big E right now. Yes. <clears throat> yes, us too. Us he my too. new husband. <laughs> and I am behind Mustafa Ali. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, us too. All right. Yes. I'm excited yes. about him. But let's go past that. All right. Um, <laughs> Moving on. Okay. So let's talk about your podcast. All right. All right. How did you guys start this podcast? (laughs) (laughs) I'll say it. I'll say it. All right. Well, I had just recently watched Fighting With My Family. So the podcast, it's a quarantine baby. It was born in this this quarantine. So I had just finished watching Fighting With My Family, which um, is about Paige. Everybody knows who I love. And um, that's how I kind of started getting into it again because I was like, well, I want to watch more of her matches because I didn't really know about her. And then that led me to Charlotte, which led me to Becky, which led me to a whole thing. So I texted Christina to tell her, hey, you should watch this movie. No idea that she even liked wrestling. No idea. I just thought it it was a great movie on its own. And I was like, the world should watch it. So I tell everybody to watch this movie. And she was like, oh, yeah, no, I've seen it. I love Paige, this and this. And it was the day before this past WrestleMania. So she was like, oh, are you going to watch WrestleMania tomorrow? And I was like, what? How do I do this? And she goes, it's on the WWE Network. You get a free trial. And I was like, what? Okay. So then I was watching WrestleMania. Um, I got pretty stoned. Am I allowed to say that? It's fine. (laughs) I got pretty stoned. And I was like, I'm going to watch it. And then (laughs) so basically I just, I watched it by myself. My fiance was not into wrestling back then. It's different now, but um, I would just send her like voice memos, like just commenting on what's going on. And we kept talking back and forth, just kept talking back screaming and screaming at each other with what yeah, was, was happening. Like, Who is this person? Who is this douche nozzle talking about Dolph Ziggler <laughs> when he first came out? And then when Becky came out, it was love at first sight. And I was like, Who is this queen? And it was like a whole thing. And um, Baker's husband was actually like, you guys should uh, start a podcast or something. Yeah, because my was husband pretty- was so my husband was just so excited. Like he was just sitting there listening to our exchanges and he was like you've been wanting to like start a podcast this right here is what you should be doing so i was like um jerry should we and she's like yes yes we should Absolutely. and what we didn't know was that we had a mutual friend which was pj i know pj from like new york life and and i remember how baker knew her but um also I had, new like, york life but different yeah, aspects. different aspects and um i think i had like posted like a wrestlemania i was like something about boneyard match or something or something had happened and pj had commented on it and christina was like wait how do you know her i was like oh i know her from this bar and she's like well i know her from this we should ask her to do the podcast with us i was like okay and she said yes and here boom here we are <laughs> like a week later we just made the podcast Boom, boom, boom. It's that easy, kids. It's that a lot of things have happened in quarantine. Yeah, it's a quarantine baby. <clears throat> so that let's, is it. So you the said, only kind of quarantine baby I want to have. So I don't want... <laughs> I, <laughs> um, <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Um, she just took me off my question. <laughs> 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 so... You say you're fairly new wrestling fans. Uh, I, you shouldn't ask women this. So, guys, I'm gonna say it's the drink. How old are you? How old are you, ladies? I'm 32. I will be 33 uh, in a couple weeks. Okay. I'm 32. I turned 32 on 420. What? Oh, you yeah. turned. <laughs> I turned. I think I'm 27. <laughs> it floats. It floats between 26 and 27, somewhere around there. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> I'm gonna kick it to you, Danielle, because I got some questions, but I'm gonna come back to them. So I'm gonna kick it to you. <laughs> it's like we're never ever gonna air this episode. <laughs> no, oh, it, it's going up. <laughs> I appreciate you guys' the energy. I love it. You guys are making my day. I guess yeah. I'm gonna ask kind of like the elephant in the room question, which I guess would be, um, why the name? It's a great question. Okay. PJ? I guess, yeah, I guess I came up with the name, right? Mm -hmm. We were, so we did, I think we did a couple of test episodes and kind of had like brainstorming sessions of what we wanted the podcast to be, like the, um, the stories we wanted to tell, the, the, um, what we wanted to cover. Yeah, what we wanted to cover, like all that stuff. And we were like, dang, like we don't have a name. What what are we going to, what are we going to call our podcast? And so I started 
I like to make puns. Like I like puns. So I started like playing with wrestling terms. And so there was a couple of other ones that came to mind first, but I was like, Oh, face and heel. Okay. How can I turn that to make it like female? All right, let's see face. Oh, face beat. That makes sense. And then heel. So face beat heels high. So I, I don't actually wear heels ever, but you know, I have plantar fasciitis. I can't. What? (laughs) Move on, move on. (laughs) She's not always like this. (laughs) I'm sorry. But yeah, that's, that's where the name came from. It was just a play on words. And also we also, I think we all wanted to create and saw a need for female driven, or as we like to say, diva driven wrestling podcasts, where we are in creating a safe, inclusive space for female wrestling fans and all fans to come Mm -hmm. LGBTQIA plus everyone is welcome at at our podcast. And we Mm -hmm. like to be representative of as many different uh, kinds of people as we can. So. Okay. Oh, I got the ass. So they they bring it all us on the podcast then. But go ahead, Dan. Go ahead. Um, so I guess my, my rounded off question usually is um, so what is the future of Face Beat Hills High podcast? Corona aside, right? Because you said this was a corona baby, yeah. which we're, we've spotlighted quite a few different individuals and in different like podcasts and you know, unions of wrestling fans. And a lot of that has come about during quarantine. But is yeah. this something that you guys can foresee still uh, sustaining when the world becomes normal? So I kind of want to hear what you think and just kind of put Corona aside, being that we don't know exactly when normalcy will return. Um, let's just okay. act like it's tomorrow. And right. I just want to know what's the future of Face Beat Hills High? Well, I think that at this point, um, also because like BJ already said, we're all performers, we're all, um, we're all actors. We do have, uh, I would say not necessarily more time availability, but we know how to handle our time in a way that we can squeeze projects in because we Mm -hmm. have to so we've already kind of like addressed this before we all know that we work like we all have our different projects going on as well but we have come to an agreement that as things progress and as things start moving forward we will try and adapt because we do think that this is this is a, a a good product that we're putting out there and we're we enjoy what we're doing so mm-hmm. we have even now because actually wild spice and myself we're still you know at home but bj is going back to work mm-hmm. and we are readjusting we are uh recording on either different time slots or whenever we're available to still try and maintain the the time frame that we have the schedule that we have thank you But, you know, adjusting to one another because we're a team, we're working together. We want to make sure that we all are able to still do what we do and enjoy this new baby that we brought to life. Yeah, I I foresee like events later in the future. Like I want us to like, you know, be able to do watch parties and, you know, Mm -hmm. bunch of different stuff. Like we have like a, I have like a lot of ideas for what a post Corona Mm face beat world will look like. But um, yeah, eventually, like, it's going to be going to shows, like going to cons, going to, you know, a bunch of stuff and just getting the word out there about the show. Because I, I, I love talking. It's, I get to drink and talk wrestling with like two of my really good friends. So I don't see why that should have to stop. <laughs> Agree. I think that we're all really lucky in a couple of different aspects. I think we all have our individual strengths and we've been really good about like communication, being open and, and saying like, Hey, where do you, where do you see this in a year? Where do you see this in two years? What do we want to be doing? And we do like, I want to get my owl, like it's Harry Potter for the, my personalized invitation to the Jericho cruise. Like, that's what I want. Like I want I want like a parrot to come in, a parrot to come in with my invitation to the for the Facebook Heelside podcast, PJ, Christina the Baker Contreras, and Wild Spice to go on the Jericho cruise as our podcast and like do we want this to be as big and as bad and as fun as we can do it. And when it's not fun anymore, we won't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely exciting to think of the day. It'll be an adjustment, but when <laughs> we're actually all in the same room together. I think we we've, yeah. we've gotten really used to this whole Zoom recording thing but we haven't actually been able to like be in the room together and while I think that'll come naturally when when we do get to that point we do have a lot of resources that we can use for studios and whatnot but it's going to be it's going to be an adjustment and one that I'm that I'm looking forward to and keeping it a uh, a priority yeah Mm -hmm. 
Hey. I love, it. I love your energy, guys. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> we have fun. And you know, <laughs> it's just wrestling. <laughs> I'm actually in New York, too. I live in Manhattan. You do? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Baker's in Manhattan. <laughs> Where are you in, in Manhattan? Washington Heights. Oh, okay. I'm in um, East Harlem. Nice. Okay. All right. So okay. I'm right. We're not right that far, though. York. We're not that far. At all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm Brooklyn and PJ's Queens. Oh, okay. So we've got most of the boroughs here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most of the boroughs. Sorry, Terry. <laughs> now, Terry, where, where are you at? Long Island? Like, what's wrong? No. <laughs> no, I'm in the Midwest. <clears throat> I'm in the Midwest. So oh, okay. I'm a huge wrestling fan who's talking to people on the East Coast and everywhere Aww. else. But I'm I'm in the Midwest, so you know I'm I, I'm different out here, and I'm it's huge for me out here. But mm-hmm. yeah, I'm different. But like y'all say, y'all never been the same. Me and Danielle, well, we meet on wrestling trips. But other than that, we <laughs> haven't been in the same room doing none of yeah. this at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about the Samoans. We got to talk about the Samoans. Oh, oh Lord. Shit. So, let, <clears throat> so, so let's see how deep. I'll, I'll be back. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So this is the last WWE <laughs> magazine issue signed by all three of them. I got collectibles now. I'm a big you wrestling You are a collector. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a huge wrestling fan. So um, let's go here. Since you are you like all the Samoans. Let's do this. <laughs> You're gonna make her pick a favorite. This is fun. Go. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're not gonna pick a favorite. Can you name me the person who's in the WWE now, who was trained by the Samoans but is not a part of their family? Oh shit! I know, I know, but I can't remember. It's a female. I know. <laughs> it's one of my favorite females. Is it Naomi? It's none. No, no, I don't. I, I, I don't know them. Mercedes Martinez was trained by the shit. Wild Samoans. Huh. No shit. Okay, so all right, so I should have known that. I apologize, and I'm gonna take a drink for that. Oh, <laughs> I got you. Oh, we're all but, okay. Thank you. I want to take you. that. Hit, hit the. I got you. My dog's Instagram account, it's actually the wild Siberians in honor of the wild Samoans because Samoans, I love them. Because Samoans. Wait, Samoans. Terry, I would love to actually hear then how you feel about Mercedes. 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 Is that what you call Terry is so uncomfortable right now. She is going to beat me up. She's going to listen to this and come to my house and beat me up. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. I'm fucking crying. I would, love to, I, w- I would love to know how you feel about her debut in NXT. This one? or Yeah, the... this one. This one. Um... <laughs> Still laughing at Mercedes Martinez. <laughs> I'm not laughing at them. I'm trying to see how far I want to go with this. Could also be Martinez Martinez. Oh. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make Terry turn around. Yeah. I'm sorry. So <laughs> before we do this, let's preface this with my answer that I'm about to give. Okay. What are you, what are you doing? So. Before we talk about this, I have been watching Mercedes Martinez since 2009. Damn. Um, I've seen her wrestle in person. I have many pictures with her. I feel if the WWE treats her right, which they are on their way, it might be a good run. I don't really like her music. I don't like that they took away her swam back and forth dance when she did her entrance. Um, I love what she did last night. So this is what set uh, august the 6th so august 5th when she beat up rhea ripley um i i i love that i know people are rhea ripley fans <laughs> but i feel rhea ripley had a lot <laughs> had her run from november to wrestlemania last that's year true. so that's um, true um mm-hmm. mercedes her needs hers and yeah. i hate to say this i don't know how much i only my belief is she's only going to have like a two to three year run and then she's okay. going to move into training um, because 
not gonna say she's old, but the wear and tear on her body is probably a lot. So yeah, I don't disagree. Um, I was watching the other day a few um, videos of her and Bailey's fight back in the day, and oh, I'm five? like, I think so. Yeah, and I'm like, I mean, Bailey's been on the main roster for how long now? She like she has been a cornerstone of so much that's been happening with the women's division in wwe and she and mercedes were you know fighting each other way back when and at that moment like i mean bailey is younger than mercedes martinez to begin with so i'm just kind of like i'm really excited to see where mercedes is going to be like taken if that makes sense. Like what her, her trajectory with WWE is going to be, but I do already see in her like a seasoned wrestler that might already be on her, you know, on her not final, but on the second half before of her we career. close out, we're going to ask one more question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna ask one more question. So the Baker is married to a wrestling fan. Yeah. Um, I'm a wrestling fan now, so two wrestling, wrestling fans fan are married. Now. Wow, Spice, uh, PJP, are you two, are your boyfriends or your uh, fiancés, are they into wrestling? Or do you have fiancés or boyfriends? That I are? have a fiancé. Um, he's not particularly into wrestling when I started, but he is an avid watcher of NXT now. He is an avid fan of Dexter Loomis as well. He prefers NXT to the other uh, two shows. So, yeah, he watches it. He watches the pay-per-views. He he side-watches it, but I'm definitely, like, the more gung-ho about it. But he definitely is, like, growing. He, like, reads articles now. was up until 3 in the morning uh, reading about Dexter's injury, and he's mad as fuck. So, (laughs) What other two shows? Are you talking about Impact Wrestling and Aid? No, No, I'm talking about Ron Smackdown. Sorry. (laughs) We only have so many hours in a week. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't. It's too much. I'm P, PJP, PJB. Yes, P, P, PJB. Yes. Princess yes. Jelly Beans. Yes. yes. Um. Yes, I do. I have a wonderful boyfriend. His name is Nick Angelo, and he is the wrestling fan when he was a kid. So he is probably the reason why he brought me to the MSG show. I believe it was Brock Lesnar versus Big Show. Was the first live event that I went to okay. in, a, in a cage match. That's yeah. well, it was a house show. That's pretty yeah, it was a house badass. show. Yep, it was a house show. Yeah. So that's the first That's the first show I saw, and that's why I'm into wrestling today. But I also like to equate my love to wrestling to the fact that I love the Real Housewives and anything <laughs> Bravo. And I think that in some way, shape, or form, there's some correlation. <laughs> we can just talk the four of us. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> We love the drama. We're actors, man. Come yeah, on. that's the thing. We're actors, so we're looking at storyline. We're looking yeah. at delivery. We're looking at breath. We're looking at how you can plant your feet, you know, like where how you deliver your promos. I we're think looking at in-ring awareness. We're looking at all of that. In-ring awareness. Are you connected to your breath? Are you connected to your truth? Where are you coming from? Like it's it's a lot from from the acting from the acting perspective. But um yeah, he is the reason why why I'm into wrestling. I'm gonna go there with my last question. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actors or are you expiring actors? Actors. N- name me something y'all alone that I can watch. <laughs> well, I am a voiceover actor. Which also, I would just like <laughs> yes. to say that oh, you should be too. Who? Yes, yes, you, you should. Actor. You should be a voiceover yes. actor. You should put a reel together and you should be submitting. That's it. right. There's a ton Wait, of thanks. voiceover work right now and you should, you should be making some money. I've heard that for since maybe 2001. That I mean, I there's always doing. time. Honestly, <laughs> it's <laughs> the, and you have what I mean set is, up already. You you're trying to get him checks. What? <laughs> I say you're trying to get him them checks. Yeah, we're right. trying to help you out, man. Hey, we'll we'll talk after this show. This is about y'all. Don't 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 do this no. to me right now. <laughs> we'll no, talk. But, we'll talk. We'll talk. But yeah, all, uh, we're all actors not as not aspiring actors we're all actual um like for real actors working working actors is what i meant to say i am a voiceover actor mostly um theater and voiceover i'm currently and for the past two years the voice in spanish for the fda opioid campaign so (laughs) 
So that's me. <laughs> that's oh. money. That's, that is money. That is money. You big time. You big time. I'm, I'm trying. I'm okay. trying. Okay. It's all in Spanish, though. So it's this okay. is going to segue into my next question, and then we're going to end it out. So since you guys are all actors, and you've been acting, and I'm going to trust that you're good because, you know, people don't say what they do if they're not good at it. Mm. Do you have, like, any right. any desire to maybe, like, get into the business and show your acting skills, like, as a ballet or a wrestler or anything? Yes. I think about this all the time. But here's the problem. <laughs> I can't take the bumps. <laughs> I feel like, I, I think that's why I'm so impressed when I watch it because I'm like, damn y'all taking these like I can't even like do a dance routine without being like where are my knee pads at you know like I need <laughs> I need to be sure that my body is part of my gear like, is that a paper cut <laughs> I, can't do it. <laughs> I would love nothing more I think I would slay as a valet I think I'd be an awesome manager but Selena Vega got her ass whooped by Bianca Belair and I don't think I can do that so <laughs> I just don't think I can at least you're honest with yourself. For, I wish I could. I wish I could. I would love nothing more. Like, I think, like, I, I feel like I'm too old now, honestly. Like, I'm in my 30s. So, like, the time to even try to attempt to be a wrestler is far gone away from me. But it, I feel like if if I would have found it earlier, maybe maybe my path would have gone that way, but it didn't. I just don't, I can't do it. I need knee pads. I need, I need protection. I don't know how Matt Riddle fucking wrestles barefoot. It's fucking, it's amazing. Dude. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even wearing socks, bro. Like, <laughs> but... Blows my mind. So, uh, yeah, no, I don't think I could do it. I would love to, but I don't think I could do it. PJ? I, I want to go ahead and say, out of the three of us, the likelihood that someone becomes a wrestler would probably most likely be me. <laughs> because I've taken a couple of classes at the Bronx <laughs> Wrestling Federation. I've taken a couple bumps. I did not like it. <laughs> But I could get I could get used to it. The business the the part of the business that gets me really excited is like so in musical theater there's something called a triple threat, right? A triple threat is where you can act, you can sing, and you can dance. That's a triple threat. Triple threading of wrestling would probably be like you can cut promos, you're good in the ring, and whatever. You're good on the mic. Whatever you think the third thing would be. Yeah, you're good on the mic. So you're good in, in like situations where your improv. shit is going to be edited, and then you're good at improv, like, in front of a real-time mm -hmm. crowd. I would be incredible at improv with a real-time crowd, and I would be great at promos, but, like, the actual wrestling part of it scares me a little bit. Oh. But I feel like, I feel like I could, I feel like I could go back and do it. I was real sore, though. I feel like they're, they're legit superheroes to me. They're, like... They're just fucking, they're superhuman people. Like wrestlers, I have nothing but respect for because it's just like, they're, they're fucking amazing. I, I, I couldn't do it. Funny story. Go, go, go. Funny story. I actually got reached out by uh, like a project notice on one of these many casting Nope, I websites. went. I you went did? to that. Yep. You, you did? Girl, like it, it felt so off-putting to me that I was just like, and he keeps sending me emails. We're not going to name names. We're not going to say out names because we don't, because that, there's no need for that. But I'm still like, oh, excuse me. Why are you still sending me these emails? Because I, I feel that you particularly are a very unprofessional person. And I don't want to put myself in that position. But, you, but your like, heart is like, oh, but I could do it, though. But I could do it, though. <laughs> I could be there. So, yeah, yeah I, I mean, just like. I feel like I need my knee pads. I feel like I'm ready to, to get, like, I really want to beat somebody up. And I want, to, <laughs> and I don't mind getting beat up. I don't mind that. Like, if you want to punch me in the gut, I will punch you right back. Like, I am ready for the blood and the broken. I just, I think that at this point in my life, I, the gear that I would need exceeds the talent that i could show on the ring are we all are we I, i'm asking this because i don't actually know are we all trained in stage combat are you guys trained in stage no, combat? i, I box i am not trained in stage okay combat. i box you are. I okay i just wanted to know for a future my husband had to be my assistant on the last show on the last like live musical that i did um i was the lead and there was nobody else who actually knew 
everything that I had to go through. So I got my assistant fired and I got my husband to be my assistant. Savage. And everybody kept asking him, like, how do you put up with your wife making out with this guy on stage every fucking night? And he's like, she's a professional. Mm -hmm. She's doing what she has to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, gotta make that money. Gotta yeah. make that money. And I make good money. So <laughs> money, money. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, let's stop. Okay. Um, <laughs> we've been here for a while. This has been actually fun with these ladies. So I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> you sound surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprised. I'm mean, getting good at this. <laughs> I'm like the one guy at Raw who like says all the funny things just you in the suck. nick of time. <laughs> you suck, Johnny. My favorite. You just don't know how to vibe would be when you first meet people. Um, <laughs> but before we go, can you guys, can, not you guys, can you, late, can you women, can you three give us your social media where people can find you, follow you, listen to your podcast, or if they just want to connect with you? I was going to say, go ahead, PJ. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, fine. All right. We're on Instagram and Twitter at Facebeat Pod. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post our unedited Zoom calls there. It's fucking hilarious. I highly recommend Facebeat Podcast. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Podbean, mostly wherever podcasts are heard. We're doing a giveaway currently. Um, so if you leave 50 reviews, uh, once we get to 50 reviews on Apple Podcasts, I will send a random person they rest, uh, a shirt of the wrestler of their choice. Because I got drunk on the podcast once and I made promises tequila that my, uh, yeah, Tequila Dream made promises. So we got to do that. But yeah, that's where we're available. Available everywhere. Um, I'm on Twitch, Talking Wrestling. If you guys want to check that out, twitch.tv slash Reina, which is my real name. Hello. And um, yeah, check us out. Come vibe with us. We're chilling. Yeah, literally, we are just talking and drinking and laughing. Yeah. It's a no to toxic masculinity zone, if that helps. Mm -hmm. Just come hang out. What do you just mean toxic masculinity? Uh, I this? don't think we have time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like if somebody... No, we don't. I know what you mean. I'm just <laughs> You joking. know what I mean? Like, if somebody, like uh, you know, you're women. What do you know about wrestling? Shut the fuck up. I'll be like... Am me. I toxic? No. no. You are not. Eight. We're Eight. not. Eight. I wouldn't. I, mean I wouldn't tell you to Eight. to be a voice actor because I think if I thought you were not a good person. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, go. With JB that. is looking out, Terry. Mm -hmm. I got you. Uh, Honorary member. You should look into that though, because I just see you as like an animated villain and like yes. Me too. Like Shira or like we're Teen typing Titans. you. All three yeah. of us are typing you right legit. now. Legit. Legit. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that is that's, the Disney villain laugh dude, that's of my dreams. All yes. I see now. <laughs> if My Little Pony wasn't like ending on this final oh, season, you could have been like an epic fucking villain on My Little Pony or something. Man, that you and Damien Priest should both be voice actors. You, what that's you what should I mean. do, what you should do, is take like the scary stories book and just read it out loud and record yourself, and then and start posting those. Yeah. The what yeah. book? Like, like scary stories. Collect, collection of scary stories. Do you ever read those? I scary have. stories to tell in the dark or something? It, it, scary stories yeah. to tell in the dark, that's what it is. Yeah. Just read it out loud and wait to be Just discovered. That. They gave you Just another one for free, Terry. They, they drop in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> After the third one, we start charging. No, we won't. <laughs> don't say that, though, because you don't know how big he's going to get. <laughs> <laughs> so you start charging, I get hues, and I'm like, God, remember when y'all charged me for my third one? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Danielle, you got anything you want to close this out no, with? I'm good. I'm enjoying. This is like a great vibe. I, you guys, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm like really want to talk to you, ladies, and I want to meet up for drinks. Yes, yes, yes queen. We can. We are always yeah. around for drinks, just maybe not in the middle of a global pandemic. Yeah. I'll see you in 2021, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> if that. I was hoping. Uh, SummerSlam 2021. See, <laughs> see what's happening here? That's what they do on their podcast. They drink and talk wrestling. Who doesn't love that? I mean, come on, people. Uh, and we have sound effects. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Hit, hit them with a gong one time for yeah, me. Yeah, I think we need to do one final cheers together. Hit them with a gong for me. I'm just drinking my drink.
I'm done. It's, it's empty. Is that a, what type of drink is that you have, PJB? This is a Truly. Oh, I thought it was a White Claw. Okay, you're good. Um. <laughs> no, I do have White Claws, though, but I decided no White Claws. I wanted Truly. What are all of you ladies drinking? Do you ladies? not like White Claw? The Baker? I've never had it. Oh. I, like, I prefer I'm... Truly to White Claw. I think they're tastier. Interesting. I'm drinking a rum and Coke because I'm from the Caribbean, so rum. Mm. Always and forever. The Baker is famous for weird... We always do, so we do cocktails every week and then we do shots. So actually how the, I'll just explain really fast before we leave how the shot game works. Cause I wanted to say it this whole time. You didn't let me do it at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> really so basically <laughs> we all have at the beginning of the episode, we all have three shots and each of us gets to dedicate a shot to something in the wrestling world. So it can be your favorite moment. It can be your favorite outfit. It can be your favorite botch. It can be anything that happens within the wrestling world. You can dedicate your shot. And so we have a moment to appreciate whatever that moment is and the fact that it was our favorite moment from the past week. So the baker is famous for like drinking rum and cokes and then doing shots of wine or like just a lot of weird combinations. It's, it's really whatever's in my fridge. Like I'm not, you know, I'm, mm, we, we record really early that. in the morning. So I'm just going to go back to she bed. Legit, like I did say that. She'll be like, I'll be like, what are you drinking? Oh, I'm going to, I'm drinking a rum and coke. And for my shots, I'm doing rosé. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey but that's the I'm game gonna, that's, that's game. what it is that's what it is we're just drinking talking wrestling and hanging out so and wild spice what were you drinking oh today montauk ipa watermelon session ale just a scotch disappointing it's oh. less sweet this year i don't know what's going on it's corona who knows it's ruining my beer now i don't know what's happening corona. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> what are you guys drinking you're taking part in, in our game. What are you all drinking? Red lemon water. Nice. That works. Hydrate. Detox. Hydrate and detox. is so important. No scurvy. I got, I got some Remy. Um, Ooh. Okay. Don't tell too many people that, though. We won't. It's but that <laughs> is a perfect segue to forget a phone out here. Time to go. <laughs> I'm going to actually do something while we're with my clothes out. I don't usually do. So I'm going to do my regular clothes out. But because PJP told me what the game is, I'm going to take one shot for. I'm going to take one shot for Wild Spice. Over. I'm going to take one shot for the baker. Shit. I'm going to take one shot for PJB. Hey. We're gonna I'm calm done. down. We're gonna calm down on <laughs> shots right now. But that's what I said. That's what I said. We can do one drink because I was like, oh, it's gonna be five of us. Okay, we don't need to do five shots. Because that's how you show up to work drunk like I did last Tuesday. <laughs> that is not pretty for anyone. I just clocked out. <laughs> but Guys, we come to another end of our spotlight. We are with the Face Beat Heel High Podcast. Three ladies, you can find them everywhere they said you can find them at YouTube, Apple, Instagram, Facebook. Are you on Facebook? Yes. Facebook. Face Beat Heels High Podcast. Yep. Twitter. Twitter. They said they yes. don't. I think I follow them on Twitter. Yes. But as I always say, I'm Terry with We Love Wrestling.com. I'm with Danielle from the Pretty Heels. And you know, if I love wrestling and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. It's too sweet for the culture. I'm going to take a shot because it's for the culture. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.